Hi, my name is Mark, and tonight I'm going to talk about what human beings are capable of with perseverance. I do larger-than-life videos, and they're almost always physically and emotionally very difficult to pull off. And from doing these videos, I've learned the ability to block out pain. Very often, I'm able to see the end in sight and work through immense, immense pain. And I learned that a secret to get through pain for me personally is obsession. I get obsessed with things, and I pretty much think obsession is underrated. I get obsessed, can I make this happen? Can I convince Ikea to let me live and sleep in one of their stores? Will the Apple store really let me bring in a goat to their store? The answer is surprisingly yes. I have learned I hate the word realistic. I've learned to think big. I've learned to block out negative people from my life. I have learned if you make conservative, safe choices, you are always going to get conservative, safe results. These are five things that I have learned from doing my videos. These are things that I kind of went past what was comfortable and it was painful in the moment, but these are the life lessons that I've taken away. The first thing that I learned is that all Starbucks stores look the same. I know this because I visited a lot of stores in New York City. For my video, 171 Starbucks, I wanted to see if it was possible to go to every single Starbucks store, all 171 in Manhattan, in less than 24 hours, make a purchase, and consume something. To do this, I had to go to a store every seven minutes for 23 hours. I have emails from people telling me it was impossible. I spent two months traveling to every single store personally. I trained on a bicycle. I planned out my route. And I pulled it off. And thank you. And after I was done, I looked at the receipts, and I noticed I had 176 receipts. That's when I realized I was so out of it, I had gone to the same store five separate times. <laughs> Next lesson, turbulence is like being in a boat in the ocean that is going over a wave. I know this because I stayed and lived on a commercial airplane for an entire month, and that's what the pilots told me. I was doing this to try to get over my fear of flying. And initially, I was doing about five to eight flights a day, terrified. But after about two and a half weeks of living on an airplane, flying nonstop, the pilots and the flight attendants pretty much coached me through my fear. And after 30 days, I ended up taking 135 flights, which set a Guinness World Record. They put my face on a plane. Scary! And then... Um, but there were other physical things that I had to deal with, such as not being able to shower for an entire month. I'd wake up in the morning and clean myself with baby wipes. This is me every morning in the bathroom washing my hair. It uh, didn't smell good. And then other challenges such as exercise. People would get off the plane, and I would jog up and down the aisle for exercise. At night, I'd sleep alone on the plane, and the cleaning crew would literally vacuum around me. Lesson three, New Yorkers are nice. Yes? I wanted to prove to the world that this was true, so what I did is I started at the southernmost end of Manhattan one morning, and I wanted to see how far I could transport myself north, only by having people on the street physically carry me. In 19 hours, I was carried 9.4 miles by 155 individuals. And I have to mention this, it was the coldest day of the year. Next lesson, MTA buses are slow. I know this because I raced a New York City bus one mile on 42nd Street while riding a child's big wheel. Yes, the race was big wheel versus bus. The MTA did not know about this. We started on 42nd Street at 10th Avenue. The race went to Madison Avenue. Here you see me on the big wheel in the middle of scary New York City traffic. I am terrified, and my legs are in massive pain, very short pedals. I have one by two minutes. Next lesson, crumbs, cupcakes, kill six-pack abs in five days. I know this because I got a six-pack in 28, and I lost it in five days. I wanted to see what somebody like me who did not work out would have to get, what it would take to get six-pack abs. I talked to my personal trainer. First thing he said, I had to eat 330 hard-boiled egg whites in a month, which I did. In addition to this, I had to work out nonstop. I lost 16.8 pounds in one month. But the worst was the food thing. All I thought about the entire month was food. It was only five days, folks. It's not that impressive. But all I thought about was food. At night, I would dream about food. One night, I dreamt I was eating a cookie, and I was so disciplined. Even in my dream, I spit the cookie out. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Mark Malkoff. Please check out my website, mydamnchannel.com forward slash Mark Malkoff. Thank you.